not Debbie Downer. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say, me, me, or, or Peter Pessimist. No, no. I, 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 <laughs> I actually share a lot of that about, about going and making money at this. It's an interesting question, um, which I get. I have the, the pleasure here of slinging the last few slides. At, I promise you it's only four, all right? So you can applaud now before the end of my talk. <laughs> but uh, uh, no, this, is, this has been a terrific conference, and uh, I really appreciate it. It's an honor to, 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 to be able to, th to say the last uh, few formal words here. So uh, people know that picture? What is it? Yes, <laughs> the first imp, yeah, first uh, internet message processor, BBN, and door was open, open networking, and I'll come back to you, you know, if you, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm a little slow on this. Um, you know, you, so this is, this is like, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm in the venture world now as of a, a year ago from the technology side, and I, I really hate saying this, but I'm having a, a terrifically good time. Um, it's, it, it feeds a bit of my ADD. Uh, you know, I, I go look at, at, at things like this and then off to, you know, solar plants and, and things, but it's, it's stimulating. But this, this is at the core of what you look at, the pattern that you try to identify to sort of where, you know, oh gosh, if I had only seen that, I, you know, the imp back then and understood its implications, you know, how would it inform your investing strategy into, into the internet? But, you know, you see these, these sort of things that set up, you know, you, you, these, these huge sort of existing global markets with fat margins and, and high intrinsic demand, right? I mean, there's just a lot of money that gets, gets made in networking and, you know, uh, you had the, the 1.6 billion TAM for, you know, in, in 2015 or something from Dell, I, you know, I think Kind of, in some sense, the whole market's up for, for grabs in terms of disruption of, of uh, what could potentially happen. You know, and these are vertically integrated, uh, mature architectures, but the, but the interfaces are open and accessible. I mean, that's sort of the thing that we've done here, right, is we bump wires, and, and uh, it's a whole other talk about how that actually has held back innovation, but it's something that we can all agree upon. And then there's lots of customer pain. Right? And uh, one thing I, in, in operating expenses, and one thing I've, I've learned in, in, uh, uh, over the last year is uh, you really make the most money, you, you make far more money selling people painkillers than vitamins, right? So you go after, those are at least, the, you know, legally, right? Uh, <laughs> so, you know, there's mind-altering things. Maybe this is mind-altering. Um, and then you look, so what's the disruption? What, what comes underneath? Well, you know, we've been seeing all of these, these things, and I won't, I won't repeat them, um, uh, other than say, actually, in the, the, the merchant so switch chips, uh, we were, were early investors in Fulcrum, and thank you, Intel. Um, and, uh, the, uh, but I wanted to also point out sort of the fourth one on here, which is this very cheap general purpose threads. Right, a, a something, in, and it really sort of implicitly gets talked about here. I know, and Martin sort of dissed it a little bit about, well, you can't really build a, you know, a, 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 an effective router in x86. Yeah, maybe, um, but uh, there these this uh, sort of uh, uh, plethora of instructions that we're getting here, and, and one pattern that I've been seeing a lot of is being able to put sort of user land general purpose computation in attached to threads on particular network streams. And, and sort of the insertion latency of that is pretty compatible with, you know, what time of flight and serialization and hop, hop delays are through networks. So you can start to do things like video transcoding or, you know, uh, network, uh, you know, inverse proxies and caching. And it, it's, it's, it's really fascinating to me. And then much of this innovation cast is software. What does that mean to an investor? It means that it's capital efficient. Right? And this doesn't mean, you know, sort of just that you can have your dog and your iPad and go do it. I mean that, that uh, uh, you know, so the companies in software can be a lot of people to go make things happen. It's just that from a, a total investment cycle, you don't have to be putting a lot of capital in to go build the, the hardware out so you, you get to do more of these. And it tends to be more efficient from the from uh, the total capital point of view. And, um, and I'll also add to this area that it's, it's 
right now, this f field, it, from a disruptive point of view, it's, it's sort of delightfully uh, well organized. I mean, the fact that this conference is here and we're all here representing people, and sort of, we kind of feel that this is happening. It's a, you know, I think maybe it's a, it's a testament to the, the vision, the people behind it, but it's sort of like we have this place and we can have this conversation and, and understand, at least to start to build a, a, a shared state of mind. Now, in the, um, just to, uh, uh, you know, full disclosure here, NEA, uh, is uh, was actually uh, is a long-term firm made a lot of a lot of money it being a very early and aggressive investor in Juniper, so um, that would be maybe one of those companies above the disruption line now. And so in the reinforcing that venture capitalists eat your young kind of uh, view of the world, uh, you know, where <laughs> you go you go make money off of investments and then the next round is go go forgot to how to disrupt them. This this is. Uh, um, you know, in, in trying to navigate this, because we're actually quite active now in investing. And, um, and to try to navigate this, uh, really to try to organize our thoughts about, you know, where are the opportunities, how, where, where do you put them in? I share a lot of the, you know, the concerns about enterprise early on. But, but this is sort of the, you know, the very high level. We think of it as, you know, sort of the planes, you know, in, in companies focusing and uh, potentially having different focus in these planes to layers, and that layer diagram is sort of a pun, right? Because uh, obviously we're thinking about different layers when you, when you, you look at SDN. I'll talk about that in a second. And then sort of the, the last piece is, so what's the market area? What are those pain points that you're, you're wanting to go after, and what are the domains, and where, where do you first focus? So let me, just, let me just say a couple of words about the layers. Uh, on, on this side. Um, what we, we really do uh, separate out and try to think about uh, what are those things that are really management stuff that's being done versus uh, the control separation. And, um, and, and by that, and that's happened in, in general purpose computing, and we've seen that uh, over the years in that sort of separate. It's, it's what are the, you know, when you talk about these, these the, the pain points, you know, that, that I mean, was talking about at the, uh, a lot of those were in the management space. Uh, certainly, the you know these higher uh, performance. I want to do Quas or uh, you know a bunch of uh, namespace tricks. That feels you know we would start to put labels on and control uh, and data and and actually so the applications. And I think this is where you know one wants to be careful. We haven't got our vocabulary here yet. The applications are actually data and control applications. Right, they're the ones that, that sort of fit over that. The the fact that we de you know that we factored it is a hack, right? That's making it possible to do some really interesting innovations. But the value is delivered by coordinating that da the data and control. And and in fact, and let me just say something a little contrarian here, just from a you know, a, it's not actually contrarian, but you you if you you think about and we I've seen this in a few companies that. Um, this logical extent, you know, management, you kind of feel like, yes, being centralized and centralized consoles and those decision making is, is, uh, makes a lot of sense. In the control side, there is this nervousness about, you know, what's my vulnerability and how good do I have to be to make that uh, high integrity. Um, I've seen a couple of folks now that are really looking at, oh, well, the real important thing here was at the control plane, we got the consistent global state and we learned how to propagate that around. That used to be sort of, you know, bad think in, in networking that, that you would actually be very deliberate about, about propagating that state around independently and telling people what you know. You could then fold that implementation back so that your data and control planes are actually back on the same box again. And, uh, but the control planes talk to each other in very rich ways. Uh, and I, I think that may, it may happen. In the layers, we just sort of distinguish, we like hardware too, and distinguish, you know, sort of people who are working down at those lower layers, sort of the L2, L3, and then things above with applications and, uh, and the like. And then in the, in the actual domain areas here, uh, you know, I, I will talk about, uh, just talk about four of our investments that we've mapped into here. Uh, one of the anchor investments is, is NYSERA. Uh, in, uh, and you all know about that in sort of in the, the service provider space. Uh, very interesting one that's not, you know, OpenFlow SDN um, per se, but follows this pattern is uh, Arrowhive networks in uh, sort of there's Meraki and Arrowhive, but in the Wi-Fi area. And they've, uh, they've done the separate off the data control and management planes for Wi-Fi 
got the control plane to be very aggressive about understanding you know, where you are uh, in, in um, uh, a local Wi-Fi area and put the management plane up in the cloud. Right? And, uh, and they did the folding back of the control on the data plane and, and do a, a, very, a very nice peer-to-peer -peer sort of thing on that. Uh, there's uh, Pluribus uh, 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 Networks, which is being sort of quiet now, so I, uh, I won't uh, talk about them. Uh, and uh, there's, there's probably, oh yes, well, uh, Embrain as well. So, you know, sort of enterprise-ish, maybe, maybe higher, higher stack, right? But you, you look through and say, well, are you talking about data center, home? We didn't hear a lot about, you know, service provider infrastructure and things. And so um, this is a map, and we're being very aggressive about it. Right, so I think uh, uh, this is a great conference for me just to, to also to, to further organize some of these thoughts. And I want you to, to uh, uh, before I, I sort of end with um, however, <laughs> okay? And these are the things to think about. And it comes back to some of the things that, that Peter was talking about too. If you, you, when I think, and looking from the point of view of a computer guy in, in the, you know, from the sun vantage point, what, we always looked at the networking and actually the storage industries and go, well, the thing that makes us different is that we actually start with developers, or developers are really high up in the, in the rubric of what you, know, you think about in, in these companies. And all the really great franchises have a very strong developer component. I mean, look at Microsoft, Apple, you know, huge uh, uh, view on developers. Um, that's not there and hasn't been there in the networking business. And I think for this stuff to really come together, uh, the I will know success here, right, or the, the success is coming when, when this conference starts talking about the developers a lot and the tool paths a lot. I mean, the Jen's talk was the one that really spoke to me the most in that area because the really great application we haven't seen yet, and I don't think anybody really talked about today, right? It hasn't been invented, and it's only gonna get invented when you have um, these pathways. So I will conclude with, um, this is really a great time, right? And uh, just a little plug, we write checks from 100,000 to $100 million, we've got $11 billion under management. So, uh, you know, that's my email address. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.